I fish with corn quite a bit. I, I catch carp with corn, catfish, uh, occasionally even trout. And every time I put out a video of me fishing with corn, I get inundated by comments uh, from people saying, oh, I'm killing the fish, corn's bad, you shouldn't use corn, uh, it's illegal because it kills fish, whatever. And uh, it just isn't true. Thought it might be nice to put out a video, try to dispel that myth, let people know that corn doesn't kill fish. The most common version of the myth is that corn kills trout because they can't digest it. But uh, before I jump in and, and explain the research and the biology behind this and why we know that corn doesn't kill fish, let's think about this logically. Use a little critical thinking here. First off, let me ask the question. Even if corn was 100% indigestible, okay, fish could not eat it at all, could not digest it at all, does that mean that we shouldn't use it as bait? We fish with these soft plastics all the time. Fish cannot digest them at all, okay? But we still fish for them, right? We don't outlaw so soft uh, plastics. And why should somebody have any problem with using sweet corn, even if it was 100% indigestible? Second of all, let, let's think about, about this. Even if something isn't digestible, it's indigestible, that doesn't mean that it's harmful. Uh, trout eat crayfish, minnows, uh, dragonfly nymphs, all these different critters with bones and exoskeletons and different odds and ends that don't get digested. Fish eat that and crap it out all the time and it doesn't harm them at all. So simply because something is indigestible doesn't mean that it's harmful. So even if the myths were right, and corn was 100% indigestible to fish, it still doesn't mean that we shouldn't use it, and it still doesn't mean that it's harmful. Well, luckily we don't have to rely solely on, on guesstimation or logic to, to know that corn doesn't kill trout. We know this because of the research of several people, including Thomas R. Bender, Jr., okay? Thomas R. Bender Jr. is a fisheries biologist with the Pennsylvania uh, Fish and Boat Commission. And he worked at the Bender Springs uh, uh, Fisheries Research Facility. And in 1992, he got kind of tired of all of these people telling him that corn kill fish. And he decided that instead of just listening to myths, he was going to do some science. What he did is he took 40 quarter pound trout. He divided them into two groups and he put 20 fish in one tank and 20 fish in another tank. The first group got fed nothing but fish hatchery pellets. The second group got fed nothing but Del Monte canned sweet corn. And for 54 days straight, he fed both groups exclusively their diet. And after 54 days of eating nothing but sweet corn, not a single trout died. Mr. Bender measured each of the 40 fish at the beginning and end of the experiment. And what he found is that the 20 fish that ate nothing but sweet corn for 54 days actually grew. So not only did they not die, they gained weight and they gained length. They grew, they grew on average 0.83 inches and put on uh, 0.11 pounds on average. So what this research proves is that not only does sweet corn not kill the fish, they could digest it and they would put on weight they would continue to grow, they would continue to get fat. One of the things that Mr. Bender observed was that in the tank with the 20 fish that ate nothing but sweet corn, there was a lot of partially digested sweet corn in the feces of the trout. So there is some truth to the fact that, uh, that fish have trouble digesting corn, but they still get nutrition out of it. Just because you can't digest 100% of your food doesn't mean you aren't gaining benefits from it. While Mr. Bender's research was really helpful for sports fishermen, it really wasn't new information for people in the aquaculture industry. Fish farmers for years have been using corn as a fish meal substitute because feeding fish exclusively animal proteins and fish meal is really expensive. And so by substituting about 15 to 30 percent of their fish meal and animal proteins with corn, they can save a lot of money without losing any big reduction in growth rates. 
Another very pervasive part of the corn myth is that corn is illegal to use as bait. And every time I do a corn fishing video, I get tons of people who try to tell me that you can't use corn, it's illegal. Whenever somebody tells me corn is illegal, I say, tell me which state you're in, I want to look it up. And every time I've looked it up, I found that it's not true, okay? So while I haven't looked up all 50 states, I am currently not aware of a single state in the United States that blanket bans the use of corn as bait. Now, I know of several states that have regulations on the use of corn in specific bodies of water, but I'm not aware of any state that says corn's illegal, period, everywhere. Now, up until 2016, Utah had a blanket ban on corn. But in 2016, they lifted the ban on uh, several of their large lakes and reservoirs. If you think there's a state somewhere in the U.S. that bans corn, and not just in one spot or in one situation, but flat out bans corn in all situations, send me a link to the regs and tell me the page number that that law appears on. So if you'd like to win this smart rod, rod and reel combo from Taco Box, all you have to do is subscribe to the Catfishing Carp YouTube channel, leave a comment, and share this video on any social media page or any of your favorite fishing forums. And uh, I'll be announcing the winner of this rod uh, one week from today uh, in my, my next uh, my video one week from today. And I'll also be responding to the winning comment and letting them know that they won. And I'll be doing that uh, one week from today. Well, anyway, thanks for watching this video, and hopefully you'll win this uh, rod and reel combo. We put out new videos twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. So don't forget to click subscribe and click the little bell button next to the subscribe button to get notifications every time we post a new video. Quick subscribe!